you can now assign keyboard shortcuts to Duik features. Before I show you this, let me explain the small stuff about the solids and nulls in Duik and After Effects. When you create a solid in After Effects, it creates a new item in the project in the solids folder. And you have the same if you create a null object and even an adjustment layer. Because all of these layers are actually just solids. And this folder may become quite big, but if you create a shape layer, you don't have this, and in terms of performance, it's similar. So Duik includes in the Tools panel in the Layer tab a way to create nulls, solids, and adjustment layers, but using shape layers instead of solids, so that your project panel is kept as clean as possible and the performance is similar. So what I'm going to show you is that you can now replace the keyboard shortcuts to create solids by the feature to create solids with Duik. That's what I've done here. If I do Control y it's Duik which creates the solid instead of After Effects, and it's a shape layer, which I think is better because it's easier to change the color of this solid, and you benefit from all the features of shape layers. For example, it's easy to change and even animate the size of the solid. So this is very handy, I think. So I've replaced the Ctrl Y shortcut to create solids using Duik. And the same if I do Ctrl Alt Shift Y, it creates a null object, but using a shape layer. And with an advantage compared to After Effects, because if you have selected layers in the composition, when you use your Duik nulls, it creates a null for each layer perfectly centered on them. And to do this, it's quite simple, actually. When you download Duik, you have this streetlets folder. Streetlets are small scripts which are tied to just a single feature in Duik, and you can assign them to keyboard shortcuts. To do that, you just have to install these streetlets. To install them, you just have to copy and paste them almost in the same folder as Duik itself. So in the installation folder of After Effects, support files on Windows, scripts, and it's in there you're going to copy the files and not in script UI panels, directly in scripts. As you can see, they are already there for me. And then restart After Effects, and you'll find these scriptlets in the scripts menu. You have these scripts with the shortcuts I've already assigned. Once you have restarted After Effects and the scripts are available, you can go to Keyboard Shortcuts, look for Duik, and in the scripts section, not the recent script files, but the scripts just under, you have these scriptlets from Duik, where you can just click on the shortcut column to as assign any shortcut you like. For example, here I have the shortcuts to create null solids and adjustment layers. And I've also this auto parent shortcut, which is a new way to parent layers in After Effects, thanks to Duik. For example, if I just have one parent and a few children, to parent these layers very quickly, instead of going to the timeline to link them all, I can just select the children and the parent at last, and then use the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt-P in my case. And now all the child children are parented to this parent, to the last one I selected. So I think it's faster than using the timeline to do the parenting. So you can add your own keyboard shortcuts to Duik using these scriptlets, which are scripts without any user interface. You have to know that these scripts are quite easy to write, actually. This is, the, for example, the script to create a solid, which is less la than 10 lines long. It's really easy to write, thanks to the API, APK, application programming interface of Duik, where you can use all features from Duik very easily. And all of this is documented and explained in the online user guides, in the advanced section, you have the Duik API chapter with an introduction and everything you need to learn to be able to do this very simply. And even a reminder about how you can assign keyboard shortcuts to your scripts and the complete reference of this API with all the functions available thanks to Duik and much more than just Duik. So you can use all of these in your own After Effects scripts and it's quite easy to use and completely documented. The only condition is that if you release a script using the Duik API, you have to use a compatible license to the license of Duik, 
which means your tool has to be open source. Uh, the source code should be freely available and you have to let users share and modify your scripts freely if they wish. So that was just a small introduction about the keyboard shortcuts and the Dewey API.